guys, welcome back to In Case of Econ Struggles. Welcome to a natural resources struggle. Today, I'm gonna to start off a new series talking about natural resource economics. This is gonna be broadly similar to an environmental economics class as well. It's gonna be loosely based on a class I've TA'd for before. So what I wanna do in this video is just lay out how the videos and the rest of this playlist are gonna go so that if you're coming back to this playlist and you're looking for something specific, it's just easy to take a look at this video and figure out what video you want to go look at. So just to get right into it, the goal of this series is basically what the goal of that class was, and mainly it's to learn the Lagrangian method of solving constrained optimization problems and applying that method to environmental problems, mainly related to fishing and forestry. So what we're gonna do first, the first couple of videos are just gonna be about the Lagrangian methods. Not everyone has used Lagrangian optimization in their undergrad econ program. So what these first videos are gonna do is just teach you how the Lagrangian method works, give you some examples, give you some practice playing with the Lagrangian, as well as a review of derivatives. And so what we're going to do after we know how to use the Lagrangian method, we're gonna start converting word problems into Lagrangian and we're gonna start applying the Lagrangian to basically any problem involving a non-renewable or renewable economic resource. Any time horizon, we're gonna do both finite and infinite. And what we're gonna do throughout is we're gonna make sure that we understand how to interpret both the constraint on our problem, as well as the objective function, and just overall what those first order conditions mean. And we'll also talk about any identifying the assumptions we need when we start to solve. Now, the other thing we're gonna do is a lot of this math is more complicated than really you're gonna to need to explicitly solve for in an undergrad environmental or natural resource or other type of applied micro class. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna use Solver. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to use Solver and how to use Solver to verify or find the analytical solutions to these constrained optimization problems. And so just again, here's how these videos are gonna be organized in terms of parts. And again, it'll be in order in this playlist. So first, I'm gonna have you review both derivatives and things that you should learn from intermediate micro theory. And then I'm going to, again, talk about how Lagrangian optimization works. I'm gonna do that in three parts just because it gets a little lengthy. But I think after you watch those three videos, you'll have a really good idea of how to use Lagrangian optimization. Then we're gonna start applying that to non-renewable resources. We're gonna have a running example. We're gonna start with just a basic setup we'll take and interpret first order conditions, we'll do some costs, and then we'll use solver to verify our solution. Then we'll move on to that same running example. We'll make it sort of a renewable resource instead of a non-renewable resource. Then we're gonna take a quick detour and talk about growth functions because in most, or at least in my environmental and natural resource class, we talked about fishing. So we need to talk about some growth functions related to fishing. Then we'll do an example. Then we'll talk about constant per unit effort and harvest functions. Again, that's related to fishing. And we'll use solver as well. Now, once we get through that, we're gonna start talking about solution concepts. We're talking about steady states. We're gonna talk about open access, static rent, and bioeconomic optimization. We're gonna review those three types of solutions and again, use that with solver. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back and do both non-renewable and renewable resources. We're gonna do that on a finite time horizon instead of an infinite time horizon. And we're gonna talk about what shadow prices do to our solution. And then we're just gonna wrap up talking about forestry, a couple of different concepts related to forestry, and then we will review. So again, I hope if you're taking an environmental econ or a natural resource econ class this semester, if you're planning to use these videos for an environmental class or a natural resource class, drop a comment below about which class you're doing, what school, let me know why you're excited for these videos. And if you're generally finding these videos helpful, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time for another case of Econ Struggles.